Solaris Bus and Coach, is a Polish producer of public transport vehicles, with its headquarters in Bolakowo Osiedle near Poznan. The company is a European leader for the production of state-of-the-art public transport vehicles, buses, trolleybuses and trams, as well as leading manufacturer in Europe in terms of design and assembling of buses with an electric drive. Solaris owns four production sites, its main factory and headquarters in Bolakovo final assembly of buses and trolleybuses, two plants in Sroda Wielkopolska a welding shop for body frames of buses and trolleybuses and a welding shop for tram bodies as well as a final assembling hall for rolling stock, located in Poznan, in Wierushovska Street. The firm arose from the enterprise Neoplan Polska established in 1994. A production facility was launched in Bolakovo Osiedle near Poznan in 1996. The first low-floor bus produced in Bolakovo rolled off the assembly line on the 22nd of March 1996 and it is this very date that is understood as the beginning of the company's history. 1999 saw the premiere of the first city bus of the Solaris brand, the Solaris Urbino 12. In 2001 the company was rebranded into Solaris Bus and Coach SP, Z O O, only to be converted from a limited liability company into a joint stock company. The company is not listed on the stock exchange. Solaris City Buses are available in diverse drive configurations as well as bodywork sizes and types. In 2006, Solaris became the first manufacturer to market, in Europe, the first serially produced hybrid drive bus Solaris Urbino 18 Hybrid. The portfolio of the bus maker covers conventionally fueled vehicles diesel as well as those with an alternative drive electric, hybrid and CNG buses or trolleybuses. The Solaris Urbino 18 Hybrid was the first Polish, and the first electric bus at that, to win an international title for the year Bus and Coach of the Year 2017. History Topic Neoplan Polska In 1994, Krzysztof Olszewski founded the company Neoplan Polska SP, ZOO, a branch office for the Polish market of German bus brand Neoplan. In 1995, this enterprise won a tender for the delivery of 72 low-floor city buses for Poznan. The tender was made conditional upon locating the bus manufacturing factory in the vicinity of Poznan. As a result, the company launched an assembly plant for buses in Bolakovo Osiedle. The first bus produced by Neoplan Polska came fresh off the production line on the 22nd of March 1996. Having carried out the order for Poznan, the firm went on to reach the position of Polish market leader in the segment of low-floor city buses. Initially, the Bolakovo plant manufactured license-based buses of the Neoplan family, Neoplan N4009, Neoplan N4016, Neoplan N4020, Neoplan N4021. The buses stood out from other ones thanks to their reliability and the quality of execution, but above all thanks to their innovative design and, which was a novelty back then, its accessibility for elderly and disabled people thanks to the low floor. An element distinguishing the Neoplan buses produced in Poland from those made abroad was the green dachshund logo pasted onto the left-hand corner of the front face. It was supposed to symbolize the low floor feature of the bus and the simplicity of use. The color of the dachshund was a reference to the company's environmental commitment in the production of public transport vehicles. The green dachshund has remained the symbol of our company until this day. In the second half of the 1990s, the company Neoplan Polska expanded its own technical office in charge of research and development. Back then, the company was already using software that allowed it to shorten the time needed to design and build a prototype of a new model. Towards the end of the 1990s, Neoplan launched a new generation of city buses. However, Mr. Olszewski decided not to launch their production in the Bolakovo plant, as they would not meet with interest in Poland on account of their exorbitant price. 
Then, in 1998, the Neoplan Polska engineers constructed the first city bus to be produced only in Bolakovo, the Neoplan K4016 TD and its shorter version, the Neoplan K4010 TD, for marketing purposes dubbed Olibus. 1999 saw the debut of the first city bus of the Solaris Urbino family see, Section City and Intercity Buses. To begin with Neoplan Polska was tied by its contract with Neoplan, so the company of Mr. Olszewski was able to sell buses only in Poland or in countries in Central and Eastern Europe. In 2001, Neoplan was taken over by German company MAN. That is why on 1 September 2001, the firm Neoplan Polska was turned into a private limited company Pol, Spolka z Ogranikzona Odpowiedzelnosia, and its name was changed to Solaris Bus and Coach SP, z -O -O. Krzysztof and Solange Olszewski became the sole owners. From that point on the export of Solaris buses was no longer limited by contracts with Neoplan, and all ties to that company were rendered invalid. On 1 July 2005 the company was transformed into joint stock company Pol, Spolka Aksijna Solaris Bus and Coach SA. Years later Solange Olszewska notes, My husband and I were looking for a name that would evoke positive connotations in all languages, that would be easy to pronounce and would be related to the future. We were unable to find anything suitable. Then, among hundreds of words, we noticed Solaris, a simple name, bringing to mind positive associations with sunshine and beginning with the same letter as my first name. Topic new owner, CAF On 5 September 2018 CAF acquired 100% of the shares of Solaris Bus and & Coach and & Company was included to the group CAF. Additionally, CAF has entered into an agreement with the Polish PFR Investment Fund, Polski Funduz Rozwoju, for the acquisition by the latter of a minority stake in Solaris 35% in the same terms and conditions agreed in by CAF in the acquisition of Solaris. Topic. City and intercity buses The first buses of the Solaris Urbino family were designed by a group of Polish engineers in collaboration with Berlin-based designer office IFS Designatelier under the leadership of Krzysztof Olszewski. In May 1999, at the Poznan International Fair Motor Show, the company unveiled its low-floor city bus maxi-class Solaris Urbino 12. Two other models of the Mega Class premiered that same year, the Solaris Urbino 15 and the Solaris Urbino 18. 2000 saw the market launch of the smallest member of the bus family, Solaris Urbino 9. A body frame made completely of stainless steel and the asymmetric front windscreen are turning into typical features of all buses of the Urbino family. The new series of city buses was characterized by the modern design and innovative technical solutions e.g. the asymmetric line of the front windscreen improves the driver's field of vision. The first generation buses were made chiefly for the Polish market. In March 2000 the company sold the first vehicle to a non-Polish company, the Solaris Urbino 15 went to DPO from the Czech city of Ostrava. The first-generation Solaris Urbino buses have also made it to Slovakia, Latvia and Germani. The second-generation Urbinos premiered in 2002. The manufacturer introduced small modifications compared to the predecessors, so the second generation was a transition between the first and the third edition of the Urbino. What is more, the new Solaris Urbino 10 was introduced, replacing the Urbino 9. The year 2002 was also a historic moment for the company, as it marks the first time that export sales double and foreign orders exceed the volume of domestic commissions. 2002 saw also the unveiling of the first Solaris intercity bus, dubbed Solaris Valletta for commercial purposes. The vehicle was designed for a regional operator, based in Valletta, Malta. It was the first Solaris bus adapted to left-hand traffic. 2004 saw also the debut of the intercity low entry bus model Solaris Urbino 12 La. In September 2004, the third generation of Solaris Urbino buses had its debut. Serial production of those models kicked off in spring 2005. 
many style and construction modifications were undertaken. It is this model that enabled the company's global success internationally. Moreover, in 2004, the company presented also the Solaris Urbino 15 CNG model, the first Solaris bus running on compressed natural gas. The Solaris Urbino participated in a contest titled Bus of the Year 2005, where it came second, losing by a whisker to Man Lion City. In 2006, Solaris became the first European manufacturer to present a serially produced hybrid drive bus, the Solaris Urbino 18 Hybrid. In 2011 the company also launched a hybrid model of 12 meters. In 2006 the company launched production of a 15 cm shorter model, 8.6 meters long, i.e. the model Solaris Alpino, designed specifically for narrow streets of city centers and also less frequented communication routes. In 2008, the company extended the production line by two low-entry models, the Solaris Alpino 8, 9LA and the Solaris Urbino 15LA. Also low-floor CNG or biogas-fueled models, designed specifically for buyers in Scandinavian countries, were launched around that time. Mid-2009 the company designed the first prototypes of the intercity bus Solaris Interurbino 12 which premiered in September 2009 at the Transexpo Trade Fair. In September 2011, Solaris presented the prototype of the fully electric MIDI-class city bus, the Solaris Urbino 8, 9LA Electric. The first buyer of that electric Solaris bus was an Austrian carrier from Klagenfurt. A year later, at the IAA trade fair in Hanover, the producer unveiled the 12-meter version of its electric bus, the Solaris Urbino 12 Electric. The first such model was sold in 2013, to an operator in Braunschweig, Germany. That is also, where the first articulated electric buses, the Solaris Urbino 18 Electric, went to. In 2014 the producer supplied its innovative city buses Solaris Urbino 18, 75 electric to Hamburg. These vehicles were the first to use a hydrogen fuel cell as an additional power source. In September 2014, during the IAA Trade Fair in Hanover, world premiere, and in October that year, at the Transexpo Trade Fair in Kielce, Polish premiere, Solaris presented the new generation of Solaris Urbino buses, initially only with conventional drives and in the length versions 12 and 18 meters. This time, the producer introduced more modifications to the design compared to the predecessor buses. The design was profoundly amended and many technical innovations were applied. Over the next years, Solaris showed off a range of new generation models the firm started using that name instead of the fourth generation, to distinguish it from the older model, though it continued to concurrently manufacture vehicles of the third generation. In 2016 Solaris announced that the new generation Solaris Urbino 12 Electric would compete in the Bus Euro Test 2016 for the title Bus and Coach of the Year 2017. In the contest, the Solaris bus faced off against three competitors. The buses also evaluated in the test were the Mercedes Benz Citaro C2 NGT, the Van Hulik Ski, City 18, the Irazar I2E, and the Ebusco 2.01. Solaris turned out the final winner, thus becoming the first Polish bus to secure this title and the first electric bus ever to win this distinction. Solaris supplies complete buses, i.e. it does not use the chassis of other manufacturers. However, it does implement components made by other sub-suppliers. It installs diesel engines and CNG engines made by Packard, Doff, Cummins, whereas the transmissions are supplied by Voith or ZF Friedrichshafen. In the case of hybrid drives, Solaris vehicles use bay systems. On the 29th of November 2016, Solaris became the leader of a technological cluster named Polish Electric Bus Supply Chain for Electromobility. The goal of the cluster is the design of electric buses, batteries, and charging options. The cluster consists of Academia Gornikzo Hutnaza, University of Science and Technology, Politechnika Poznanska, Poznan University of Technology, Politechnika Warszawska, Warsaw University of Technology, EC Grupa, Ekoenergetyka Polska, Impact Clean Power Technology, Medcom, Institut Napdau i Mazin Elektrycznych Komel and SKB Drive. Later on companies LCAB and Enia joined the cluster.
In 2018 Solaris announced the debut of the three following vehicles, the Solaris Trollino 24, the Solaris Urbino 12 Hydrogen with a Hydrogen Drive and the Solaris Urbino 12 La Light Hybrid, meaning a low entry and low emission bus involving lower operating costs. Topic. Coaches In the first years of operation, Neoplan Polska also handled the assembly of the coaches Neoplan Transliner and Neoplan Skyliner. Serial production of the tourist coach of the company's own design Solaris Vacanza 12 began one year after the official unveiling in August 2001. The design of these coaches was drafted by the Berlin-based enterprise IFS Designatelier. A characteristic feature of these vehicles is the wedge-shaped bodywork line. Engines made by DOF were used for the driveline. In 2004, the company launched production of the longer model Solaris Vacanza 13. In 2003 the Solaris Vacanza was ranked second XAEQUO with the Volvo 9700 in the contest coach of the year 2004, right behind such brands as Man Lion Star and Scania Irazar PB, which took the first place XAEQUO. Due to limited sales, Solaris decided to eliminate them from its offer in 2011. In 2002, Solaris assembled its first special purpose vehicle, a mobile blood donation station based on the Vacanza coach. Solaris bloodmobiles have been used in many Polish cities, but have also been sold to Riga. In 2018, Solaris presented the first fully electric special vehicle for blood donation, based on the Urbino 8.9 La model. Topic. Trolleybuses The Solaris Trollino trolleybuses have been produced since 2001, based on low-floor buses of the Solaris Urbino series. The first Trollino 12 units were created in collaboration with PKT Gdynia. In 2002, the company launched serial production of longer trolleybuses, namely 15-meter and 18-meter versions. The Solaris Trollino 15 was the first trolleybus in the world of that length. Originally, the vehicles were made with drives manufactured by Hungarian company Gans Transelectro and Czech firm Sigelik. In spring 2007, Solaris and the firm Medcom from Warsaw decided to build a prototype of the trolleybus Solaris Trollino 12, fitted with an asynchronous drive made in Poland. It was created in August 2007 and was then submitted for tests in Lublin. Two more vehicles were made for public operator MPK Lublin. Tichy based TLT, too, is authorized to assemble and obtain the type approval for the Trollino model. The Solaris Trollino trolleybuses are available in various length versions, 12, 15 and 18 meter models. In Poland, the Trollino can be encountered on the streets of Gdynia, Tychy and Lublin. They have also been delivered for the trolleybus network that is being rebuilt in Rome the battery version which enables driving in the city centre while detached from the traction line and for the existing networks in Riga, Vilnius, Tallinn, Landskrona, Opava and Ostrava. In 2009, the first trolleybus made it to Portugal. The Solaris Trollino is also available in a special version with a metro-style bodywork that has an affinity to the style of the Solaris Tremino tram. Trolleybuses of that type have been supplied to Salzburg, Esslingen and Castellan de la Plena. Topic trams In March 2006 Solaris Bus and Coach signed a contract with Bombardier Transportation and German firm Voslo Keep on the assembly of trams in Poland. In 2006 these companies won a tender for the supply of 24 trams of the Bombardier NGT 6 halves type for Krakow and 3 for Gdansk. Under the cooperation agreement, Bombardier Transportation supplied the bodyworks and carriages, Voslo Keep provided the electric fittings and Solaris ensured the delivery of the remaining components and the assembly of the vehicles, in collaboration with MPK Krakow. The assembly of the trams for Krakow took place in the tram depot Zajeznia Podgors. 
2007 saw the delivery of three ordered vehicles to Gdansk and of eight vehicles for MPK Krakow. Mid 2009, Solaris presented the prototype of its own tram, named Solaris Tramino. Its debut took place on 14 October 2009 during the Traco Trade Fair in Gdansk. Solaris scored its first commission for trams of its own design when it won a tender for the supply of 45 trams to the operator MPK in Poznan. The delivery of the vehicles started in July 2011 and ended in May 2012. The second tender for Solaris concerned an order for five by articulated fully low floor trams adapted to a 1,000 mm track gauge, placed by Jena Ernavrkare, a public transport operator from the German city of Jena. The tram cars have been fitted with two driver cabins, three bogies, including four axles integrated with a 90 kW motor, and an air conditioning system for the passenger compartment. The trams were delivered in 2013. They were the first ones produced in Poland and sold to a customer in Germany. As part of the third tender in 2014, Solaris provided 18 tri-articulated trams riding on a 1,100 mm track gauge to Braunschweig in Germany. These were the longest trams made by Solaris. In August 2012 Solaris won a tender for the supply of 15 double-ended trams for the newly built tram network in Olsten. This vehicle features many state-of-the-art solutions, such as traction batteries allowing for a short-distance ride without a connection to the traction line. These are also the least noise-emitting trams in Poland. The 15 vehicles were supplied in 2015. At the beginning of February 2015 Solaris won a commission for the supply of 41 trams to the Leipzig-based public transport operator Leipziger Verkehrsbetrieb GmbH in Germany. The new trams for the Saxon buyer have been given a completely new design, in compliance with the customer's wishes. However, references to the former Tremino construction have been maintained. The longest vehicle of the family, 37,630 mm, was named Tremino XL. The official premiere of the Tremino for Leipzig took place in February 2017, marking also the beginning of the delivery. On 20 September 2016, at the Innotrans Trade Fair in Berlin, the company announced that it had started cooperation with Stadler Rail, a Swiss rolling stock producer. The consortium won a tender for the delivery of 50 trams for public transport operator MPKSA from Krakow. On 9 December 2016, Solaris announced the establishment of the joint venture Solaris Tram. The company started operation on 1 January 2017, with Zbigniew Polenica assuming the post of CEO, whereas the shares are divided between Solaris and Stadler Rail at a 40-60. In July 2017 Solaris Tram secured its first order, for the supply, to Braunschweig, of seven trams featuring a similar design as the vehicles from the previous contract. <laughs> <laughs> Company management and staff <laughs> Company management Source Topic Number of employees In the first year of operation there were 36 employees working in the production hall. In the following years, as new production halls were launched and production expanded, the staff number kept growing. In 2005 Solaris reported a headcount of 1,000. As of 2018 Solaris employs 2,300 people in Poland and in foreign agencies. Topic CSR Apart from its core business entailing the production and maintenance of public transport vehicles, Solaris Bus and Coach SA is also involved in many CSR activities. These measures are partly related to the improvement of road safety, and partly concern local communities and company employees and their families. In 2018, the company was awarded the Silver Leaf of CSR by Weekly Politica for its efforts regarding corporate social responsibility. The firm also received the Ace of Responsible Business Prize. Topic: 
Road Safety – Program Safe Driver In order to improve safety for all road users, Solaris has devised a training program dedicated to drivers of city buses and named it Safe Driver. During the training instructors teach what to do when something unexpected happens on the road. Over 1,000 people have so far completed the driver training program launched by Solaris in 2005. Topic. Collaboration with schools and universities, vocational school training and dual study system Solaris is one of the first firms in Poland which, as early as 2007, committed to the cause of vocational training in collaboration with schools in the province of Greater Poland. Encouraged by the positive effects of that program, we have extended the dual education project establishing a cooperation with the Technical University of Poznan Politechnika Poznanska. Not only does the project give young people a great professional head start, but it also supports local education and constitutes an investment in the local labor market. Topic. Charity and Philanthropy Green Dachshund Foundation In 2012 Solaris established the Green Dachshund Foundation, for the rescue of the defenseless. Right from the start the foundation has been supporting the sick and needy, and its beneficiaries include employees of Solaris, inhabitants of the Greater Poland Province as well as organizations providing emergency assistance. The foundation's agenda also includes aiding animals, parent-friendly firm, nursery. In 2012, bearing in mind the needs of its employees and their children, the company created the in-house nursery at the Green Dachshund. The mission of the nursery is to create a unique space that ensures the safety and versatile development of the company employees' children, and which, thanks to its location close to the company headquarters, allows parents to visit children even during breaks at work, employee volunteering. Solaris is one of ten Poznan-based businesses that got involved in a Poland-wide innovative project titled My Own Place. Its objective is to turn the dwellings of senior citizens who live in public nursing homes, often resembling hospital rooms, into rooms that are cozy and give a home-like feeling. Apart from refurbishing the room of one elderly lady, our employees, all of whom had volunteered for the task, were also given the opportunity to spend one day with the senior, taking her on a river cruise along the Warta and on a stroll through Poznan, training and further education, employee trainings. 2,132,212 Polish Zlotys and 58 Gross, that is how much Solaris spent on trainings for employees and their professional development in 2017. Thanks to these funds our employees received among others licenses to carry out works on gas installations and welding work, as well as Category D driving licenses, but they also attended technical trainings, language courses and even conferences and seminars. In 2017 we also implemented a training program of our own design, titled The Power of Knowledge, addressed to managers of all levels in our company, starting with foremen, team leaders, and ending with lower level to top level managers, consumer survey, customer satisfaction survey. The Solaris Customer Satisfaction Survey is carried out every two years. Its objective is to improve the company performance and to eliminate critical events in each of the four areas of customer care, purchases, transfer, vehicle usage and spare parts. The survey from last year covered 62 firms in Poland and indicated a high degree of customer satisfaction with Solaris, since the individual customer satisfaction index came to 77%. Waste Management – Recycling we are aware of the environmental aspects that accompany our business activity, which is why we are involved in many campaigns aimed at reducing the negative impact on the environment and preventing pollution. In 2017, 75% of waste produced in the course of our production process was recycled, whereas the remaining 25% was processed into alternative fuel. Hence, none of the waste generated by Solaris ended up on a landfill. Topic. Commercial symbols 
Topic logo Initially, Neoplan Polska did not use its logo, it relied on the symbol of holding company Neoplan. The first logotype of Solaris was presented in 2001, when Solaris Bus and Coach SP, ZO, O, was officially established. It featured a stylized inscription reading Solaris, enclosed in an ellipse. Moreover, for buses the company used a complex logo on a black background, where the letter O was replaced by a planet, whereas the letter A was set against a star in the backdrop. It reflected the association of the word Solaris to the sun. In 2005 a new graphic system for Solaris was shown. The company introduced the characteristic logotype resembling the letter S. It is to symbolize the producer's modernity, sustainability and flexibility. In 2012 the company launched an overhauled version of the symbol making it bolder and changing the interior filling of the letter S. What is more, the stylized name Solaris, in line with the design from 2001, is placed underneath the graphic symbol. Topic. Advertising slogan In 2005 Solaris introduced its first advertising slogan, Power of Enthusiasm. It was in use until 2017, when the company replaced it with the slogan Double Spolny Kieranik, Polish for Common Direction. Topic. Green Dachshund The green dachshund is the mascot of the company Solaris. It used to be attached to Neoplan Polska buses, distinguishing them from vehicles produced in other Neoplan factories. It was created by the company's vice president of the day, Salon Jolshevska. The dachshund resembles a low-floor bus in shape, but it also symbolizes the loyalty towards customers and low operating costs. The green color is a symbol of concern for the natural environment. Its image is glued to the outside of the bus, usually on the front face, on the left side of the vehicle when looking in the travel direction. A plush toy version of the symbol is often handed out during official release of buses to customers. In the case of the first and second generation and for some third generation vehicles, the logo included the word low floor written in the language of the country in question e.g. Niederfler for Germany or Niskopodlagoi for Poland. In the case of low-entry buses, the inscription was changed accordingly to low-entry. Standard buses of the Urbino family with diesel or natgas engines feature a Dachshund logo in the basic form, whereas other drive or construction types have their distinguishing feature represented in the image of the Dachshund, as shown in the table below. Topic. Products. Topic. Production and sales Solaris buses have found buyers in over 700 cities in 32 countries in Europe, Africa and Asia as of, 7 January 2018. The furthest Solaris buses have ventured from Bolakovo so far as the island of Reunion in the Indian Ocean. Solaris has been leader of sales in Poland of new city buses with a DMC of more than 8T since 2003 without interruption. The number of buses, trolleybuses and trams sold by Solaris was biggest for Poland 5,528, Germany 2,960, the Czech Republic 860, Italy 829, Sweden 616, France 523 and Norway 478. Topic. Production facilities The production of Solaris vehicles is handled in four production facilities situated in the vicinity of Poznan and in the city itself. The headquarters is located in Bolakovo Osidl. That is also where the final stage of production takes place. Furthermore, Solaris operates two plants in Sroda Wielkopolska and one in Poznan. According to company plans, within the framework of the joint venture of Solaris and Stadler Rail, as of 2019 the final assembly of Solaris Termino trams is to be executed in the Stadler Polska plants located in Siedlce. 
In 2017 Solaris launched yet another plant, the Solaris Logistics Center, located in Jassen near Poznan. The new distribution center and spare part warehouse was to streamline the order implementation process and raising the level of after-sales customer care. Topic Bolakovo Osidl The factory in Bolakovo Osidl is the biggest production facility of Solaris. That is where the final stage of bus production takes place. Opened in 1996, is the oldest factory of Solaris, created for the execution of an order for buses for MPK Poznan. In 2014 the company started expanding the factory, adding additional production and office space. The following extension of that facility began in 2018. Annual output amounts to 1,300 to 1,400 vehicles, meaning that every day five to eight new buses roll off the assembly line in Bolakovo. The average production time for one city bus is approximately 20 working days. Offices are located next to the production hall, constituting the headquarters of Solaris Bus and Coach. Since 2016, it is possible to sneak a peek at the interior of the factory and the office building in Bolakovo using Google Street View. Sroda Wielkopolska The facility in Sroda Wielkopolska specializes in the production of steel body frames for buses and rolling stock. Solaris bought the factory in 1998, following the bankruptcy of the former owner, TRAMAD. The facility in Sroda Wielkopolska employs about 360 people. About eight body frames are completed here every day. In 2018, the company started the concurrent extension of the steel structure plant in Sroda Wielkopolska and the plant in Bolakovo. The second production hall in Sroda Wielkopolska was launched in 2009 to serve the needs of orders for Solaris Termino trams for the public transport operator MPK Poznan. Specializing in tram body frames, this particular facility caters only for the production of Termino trams. Topic. Poznan The factory in Poznan at Wierashevska Street is a facility focusing on the production of rolling stock, where the final assembly of Solaris Termino trams takes place. Just like the plant in Sroda Wielkopolska, this facility was built to handle orders placed by MPK Poznan. Earlier prototype models of trams were manufactured in production halls of external firms. Topic. Biggest orders Topic. E. The L. Athens At the beginning of 2008 the municipal bus operator from Athens, E. The L. issued an invitation to tender for 320 city buses, namely 220 midi-class and 100 maxi-class vehicles. Solaris bid was singled out from among others and so, in July 2008, the company signed a contract for the supply of 100 Urbino 18 and 220 Alpino 8, 6 buses. The contract value exceeded 80 million euros. The deliveries were completed by the end of 2009. Topic. Cotrol Lazio. At the beginning of 2016, Solaris won a contract for the delivery of 300 suburban buses for the operator Cotrol from the Italian region of Lazio. This contract was worth nearly 110 million euros. Under this contract, Solaris supplied 12-meter buses of the Solaris Interurbino category. The buses were provided with, among others, baggage holds, air conditioning and rear-view reversing cameras. The drive consists of a diesel engine made by DOF. Topic. BVG Berlin In 2004 Solaris secured an order of Berliner Verkehrsbetrieb for the supply of 260 city buses of the Mega Class 130 plus 130 under a contractual option. 
Following this contract, there are now 260 low-floor Solaris Urbino 18 buses of the third generation driving on the streets of Berlin. They joined 10 older Urbino 18 buses of the previous generation, already in use in the city. Topic RTA Dubai Towards the end of 2006 the Dubai Roads and Transport Authority the municipal transport operator in Dubai put out a tender for the supply of a total of 620 city buses, although the order was divided into several batches. One of these batches, covering 225 vehicles, was won by Solaris. The contract entailed the delivery of 150 articulated Urbino 18 buses and 75 Urbino 12 buses of the third generation. The deliveries of buses were spread in time, from the end of 2007 and over the first half of 2008. One novelty applied in the buses for the Dubai RTA was a more efficient air conditioning system and systems protecting the engine from sandstorms. Special curtains of cool air have been applied in the buses, too, to prevent heat from entering the bus through open doors. Topic. SWRT Wallonia Société Régionale Wallonne du Transport regional carrier of the Belgian region of Wallonia ordered 208 hybrid buses of Solaris in 2017. Under the €105 million Euros commission the producer supplied Solaris Urbino 12 hybrid buses of the four generation. The deliveries were spread over a period of two years 97 buses were supplied in 2017 and another 111 were shipped over in 2018. Topic. See also Autosyn Electric bus Electric vehicle conversion Hispano Caracera <laughs>